everyone. My name is Nur Ayu Shafika Binti Muhammad Issa with metric number 157647. I am third year student from School of Physics, majoring in Medical Physics. Today, I will be presenting about St. John Gideon's radiotherapy incident in 1996. When it comes to medicine, people are entrusting another person with their life. Despite being professionals and specialists, doctors and medical technicians are also imperfect human beings. It is commonly known that radiation therapy is a significant and successful cancer treatment. Radiation is applied directly to cancerous tissue during radiotherapy. Radiation damages healthy tissue when it enters the body. Consequently, in order to apply this strategy effectively, a balance needs to be achieved. The success of such practices depends on achieving a radiation dose that is high enough to kill malignant tissue, yet sufficiently low to preserve healthy tissue. A situation that is particularly tragic happened in 1996 when 114 cancer patients in San Juan, Costa Rica unintentionally overexposed themselves to radiation. The San Juan de Dios Hospital is a public medical center located in San Jose, Costa Rica. It is one of the most important health institutions in the capital and in the country. It was the first hospital built in the history of Costa Rica. It is built in 1854 and partially rebuilt in 1995, 2004, and 2009. What happened in St. Juan de Dios Hospital? On August 22, 1996, a worker at St. Juan de Dios Hospital in San Jose, Costa Rica conducted a routine change of the cobalt-60 source in the Elysium 2 radiotherapy unit. As he calibrated the machine to the new source, the radio physicist made an error when calculating the dose rate. The mistake went unnoticed as the Elysium 2 resumed operation with cancer patient on August 26. It would take more than a month for a grave error to be caught. Over those 32 days, 114 patients received treatment on the miscalibrated machine. At least a dozen deaths and many more permanent injuries are linked to the mistake. It was and remains the worst medical tragedy in Costa Rica's history. It took the sharp eye of a radiation oncologist at Calderon Guardia Hospital, also in San Jose, to recognize there might be a problem. He noticed unusually severe effect in some of his patients who had been treated with the Elysium 2 unit and followed up on the observation. The error was tragically simple. Only 0.3 units on the Elysium 2's control panel typically correspond to 0.3 minutes or 18 seconds. But on that day, Miscalculation happened. The machine was set to 0.3 unit for 30 seconds. The exposure time had been overestimated by a factor of 30 over 80, which is 1.66. As a result, the dose rate would have been underestimated by the same factor, and therefore, the dose to patient would consequently have been higher than that intended. On September 27, the person in charge of dosimetry at St. Juan de Dios realized the problem and contacted the Ministry of Health, which immediately shut down the Elysium 2 unit. But by then, it had caused irreparable damage. Many of the overexposed patients were already displaying acute reaction such as skin ulceration, severe mucositis, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Over the coming months, Many of the more chronic illnesses had become to manifest including permanent damage to the central nervous system, the skin, the GI system and the cardiovascular system. In 2001, the radiophysicist whose mistake caused the radiation overdoses was charged with 16 culpable homicide and sentenced to 6 years in prison. Costa Rica's 1996 radiotherapy incident was a tragedy, but it provided the country and the world with valuable lessons. On Costa Rica's request, 
the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA conducted an expert assessment of the events and their recommendation have been applied to accident prevention in radiotherapy worldwide. This recommendation included additional educational programs for radiotherapy staff, the implementation of an ongoing quality assurance programs, and perhaps most importantly, redundancy. As the report noted, human error is the most common cause of radiation accidents was in Costa Rica where poor record keeping and relying on a single person's calculation elevated risk because there was no redundant and independent calibration of the Elysium 2 unit it opened the door of for a mistake to remain undiscovered until it resulted in an accident. So in conclusion human will always make errors of judgment therefore it is essential to set up efficient processes and check to identify and fix errors. This covers features of the system that aren't immediately apparent as possible sources of issues. In the case of St. Joan Gideon's Hospital, the therapy became fatal due to a simple valve error that was not directly under the supervision of the attending physician and nurses. Therefore, it is crucial to truly investigate incidents like this one and put better safety measures in place to ensure that they don't happen again. Thank you.